Armed Robot Dog In the summer of 2022, a video circulated that appeared to depict a four-legged dog-like robot firing an automatic weapon at non-human targets. This modification of an existing Unitree dogbot terrified many who feared that artificial intelligence had developed the ability to wage modern warfare. To the immense relief of some, the viral video was found to be a mock-up by a Russian hoverbike developer named Alexander Atamanov. However, the shocking truth is that, while the machine depicted in the popular video was just a digital representation of what an armed dogbot may look like, such machines do in fact exist. Quadrupedal robots have surged in popularity over the last few years due to several significant advancements made by development companies such as Boston Dynamics. These nimble machines are compact and agile and are capable of traversing terrain, which would stop a wheeled robot in its tracks. Dogbots have also demonstrated impressive counterbalancing abilities, potentially enabling them to compensate for the recoil of heavy weaponry. Reliable reports state that the US and French armies have already carried out a number of tests on quadrupedal robots in a battlefield context. One such machine, developed by Ghost Robotics, is equipped with a special purpose unmanned rifle with a 30x optical zoom, a range of up to 1200 meters, and a thermal imaging system that enables it to locate targets in the dark. In other relevant developments, another video has surfaced, which reveals a drone deploying a robotic dog that is armed with a machine gun. This creation of modern unmanned weaponry is the work of a Chinese defense contractor known as Bloodwing. It is not yet known whether these machines will be fully autonomous, with the ability to navigate a war zone, take aim, and open fire on a target all by itself, or whether a human operator will be involved to some extent. The degree to which these machines may be the future of warfare is also unknown and the moral implications of such developments have yet to be discussed in any great detail. But what we can be certain of is that these developments are just the first of many, and that future war machines are likely to require less and less human intervention. Mossad AI Machine Gun Attack On November 27, 2020, in a region close to Tehran, a convoy was attacked and a top Iranian scientist named Mohsen Fakhrizadeh was taken out. According to one of the Iranian government's multiple conflicting statements, he was attacked by a weapon, the likes of which had never been seen before. Allegedly, the machine gun was mounted in the bed of a pickup truck and was unmanned, which served to both conceal the identity of the attackers and facilitate their escape. Reports say that the machine gun was fully automated and controlled by its own dedicated AI system, which enabled it to target the renowned scientist without hitting bystanders. Satellite controlled with incredible precision, the ingenuity of the weapon and the attack have been attributed by the Iranian government to Israel, who have neither confirmed nor denied their involvement in the incident. A commander of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards attempted to explain the technology in crude terms, stating that the pickup had been, quote, equipped with an intelligent satellite system which zoomed in on Fakhrizada. The official stated that the weapon had fired a total of 13 bullets and, quote, focused only on Fakhrizada's face in a way that his wife, despite being only 25 centimeters away, was not hit. Mossad, the Israeli secret service, was eventually confirmed to have been behind the attack and it's believed that their motive was to hinder the development of Iran's nuclear weapons program, which was being headed by Fakhrizadeh at the time of his attack. While some reports have stated that artificial intelligence was responsible for the targeting, others have claimed that the gun was remotely controlled by a highly skilled marksman situated approximately a thousand miles away in the safety of Israel. Despite the ongoing conflicts between the two countries, the attack is considered to be the first Israeli strike against Iran since 2007. AI Nuclear Codes
Nuclear warfare has been under particularly intense discussion since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and global powers are in constant pursuit of any technology which may give them an edge in the event of an exchange of nuclear force. The ability to approve a nuclear launch is generally reserved for the most powerful of world leaders, and the process tends to involve inputting a series of highly protective launch codes, which are themselves kept under lock and key. Although the Soviet Union once sported a semi-automated nuclear launch program known as Dead Hand, a system which is still in place in the Russian Federation, researchers in the U.S. have recently proposed the possibility of enabling a Western nuclear launch to be 100% initiated by artificial intelligence. The notion put forth by these researchers is that by giving artificial intelligence the ability to approve the launch of doomsday weaponry, the U.S. may gain a competitive edge, one which may save the lives of millions. The proposed system would have a series of parameters that would have to be met for the launch to be approved, but this may not necessarily involve having to wait for an incoming attack to be detected. As technologies in the areas of communication and long-range weaponry have developed since the dawn of the Cold War, the response time of America and its enemies has been significantly reduced. Now that these systems have become so advanced, artificial intelligence is the next logical step in maintaining America's superior response time. Many outspoken critics of such a system have drawn comparisons between the proposals made by the aforementioned researchers and Stanley Kubrick's 1964 satirical film Dr. Strangelove, in which a similar doomsday machine is devised. This, however, is not merely the stuff of fiction. A close encounter with a faulty nuclear warning system occurred in 1983, when Soviet Lieutenant Colonel Stanislav Petrov was informed that American forces had launched a nuclear attack. Fortunately, Petrov was skeptical of the new launch detection system and did not propose a counterattack. However, the incident serves to illustrate the plausibility of an error being made by AI, one with catastrophic consequences beyond comprehension. AI Deception Campaigns Artificial intelligence has also played a role in Russia's recent invasion of Ukraine in the form of misinformation backed up by deepfakes and AI-generated data. Russian social media is rife with Kremlin-backed accounts spreading the word that Russia's activities in Ukraine have been generally successful and that Putin's efforts have been heroic. Largely due to primitive recommendation algorithms, which seek to provide users with content relevant to their interests, many social media users have found that they are receiving a great deal of disinformation regarding the ongoing conflict. Most unsettlingly, it's not just Kremlin-backed accounts that are promoting this disinformation. Some aspiring influencers, especially on TikTok, are capitalizing on the situation and manipulating their followers in the hope that their posts will go viral. In their pursuit of clicks and likes, many influencers, particularly those based in Russia, but also worldwide, have made accusations against Ukraine, for which there is no substantiated evidence. In order to ensure that pro-Russian disinformation reaches the right people, machine learning and artificial intelligence have been recently employed. By effectively targeting people who are interested and susceptible, machine learning algorithms can effectively deliver whatever information they deem necessary to change the opinion of a particular individual. Russia works closely with advanced AI systems, some of which are even capable of generating messages and spreading their own disinformation to serve a particular programmed agenda. This effect is further facilitated by AI technologies such as deepfakes and AI-generated humans with social media accounts containing synthesized imagery that is almost impossible to distinguish from the real thing. Some have speculated that the use of deepfakes in the war is set to escalate, with some fearing that videos of Ukrainian President Zelensky's surrender could be fabricated and presented to the Russian public. This assortment of ways in which AI has been weaponized in the Russian-Ukrainian conflict demonstrates that wars are no longer fought exclusively on the ground, but that there also exists a virtual front line. AI-designed chemical weapons.
Computers have long been used to develop potential chemical combinations for various purposes, but in the past, these have been largely medicinal. More recently, AI systems have been used to identify possible chemical weapon formulas. The results of one such experiment were published in the Nature Machine Intelligence Journal, revealing that scientists run into no difficulty when tweaking an existing AI to seek out the most harmful substances which could be weaponized, rather than the most helpful. Shockingly, it invented 40,000 lethal chemical weapons in the space of just six hours. Some of the substances found were even comparable in their structure and mechanisms to a substance known as VX, one of the most dangerous nerve agents known to man. The substance is tasteless and odorless and works in minuscule doses. VX has been used in the past to kill high-profile targets in heavily coordinated attacks. While scientists had no issues adapting the AI algorithm for this sinister purpose, they were reportedly told to withhold the specific details of how they did it. With access to such a wealth of existing data regarding the relative toxicities of many chemicals and the ability to combine these data sets, the AI quickly and easily identified those which could have a similar effect on a human to the infamous nerve agent VX. Evidently, the capacity of artificial intelligence to make contributions to modern warfare is undeniable. We can only wait and see what the world's scientists, leaders, and military forces do with such powerful computing in their hands. Thank you for watching Dark 5. Don't forget to like and subscribe to continue exploring the greatest mysteries of this world and beyond. Your support and engagement help my videos get seen by even more people. And let me know if there are any other future uses of AI that you're concerned about.